to my new doll repaint video and today I'm going to repaint another big doll hat but this time it's quite a special one first of all this doll has inserted eyes and it's very interesting because it's actually the first time on this channel I'm going to work with inserted eyes and yeah of course I've made some research watched some videos read some articles on the internet so I kind of can't wait to open this box and then to open her hat. Yeah, we need to do go for such a hardcore surgery this time to pull these eyes out and to see what I can do because I don't know maybe I will be able to just repaint her original eyes using you know, the same plastic just to change the irises inside or maybe I will need to sculpt my own eyes completely but this we will see later. And uh, this doll is also quite special because of her face mold. You see, this is not really like a Barbie like doll, it's more like a young girl mold. And it's very cute. I see her from the side, she has a very sweet nose, sweet lips, these eyes. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a very interesting experience because I really like her sweet face. And it's not like Californian housewife, like we're always doing here it's rather a gentle young gentle creature young young lady so i really can't wait to start working on her so let's open the, the box and start the transformation so this doll has lots of accessories like always and here i see a nice shadow palette and a lipstick so let's check them out i always wanted to become a beauty blogger and to make like swatches of stuff you see that the colors are not really pigmented, just the green and the blue you can really recognize in these swatches. And the lipstick also looks so red in the package, but it gives almost no color in my skin. But I like the idea that you can give your doll a real makeup, so let's see how it works on doll face. Can you even see anything? With my fingers it goes a little bit better, but it's anyway so poor. The lipstick also just disappears on her face. You know what, let's take some normal makeup and let's try to do the same. Look, here is a red lipstick uh, from NARS uh, and you can see the difference between these two reds that look approximately the same in the packaging. And for her eyes, let's use for example this soft glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And what I see? I see color, I see pigmentation, so sorry, stupid little eyeshadows, you're dismissed. I think we've seen the difference in pigmentation good enough and now let's remove it all quickly before it stains the doll face. I cut her hair as short as I can. I'm planning to give her blonde hair as well in the end, but I don't really like this hair color. It looks a little bit like green or yellow to me. 
To get her eyes out, I'm going to cut her head open. But this sort of plastic is very hard and difficult to cut. So first I will make it soft by warming it up with a hair dryer and then I can cut it open easily. Now I can see that the eyes are covered with melted plastic, so I will try to cut it open as well. Here are the eyes. Now I'm taking a piece of self-drying clay and I start making a pair of new eyes for this doll. I've never done it before in my life, but I hope that my basic knowledge of human body and some videos that I've watched on YouTube will help. I wore just once on a doll with inserted eyes, it was a Chinese baby girl doll, and then I used her original eyes, because the idea of making my own glass eyes seemed just insane to me. And now, just a year later, I can't wait to see the end result. With another side of the brush, I make holes. It's gonna be the irises. Then I also make two teeny tiny balls and I let it all dry for a couple of days. And meanwhile, I can work on her face. First, I'm removing the rest of the hair. It's very easy to do when the head is open like this. Then I clean her face again with acetone. I spray it with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then I start drawing. supposed to be a very young and fresh girl, so this time it's gonna be a very soft and natural look. By the way, about using regular makeup for working on your dolls, you are asking me about it sometimes. You can of course experiment with it and play like I did it in the beginning of this video. But if you are really repainting your dolls, and if you want to get a good result, you should use soft pastels. First of all, all the eyeshadows contain oils, and after a year or two the oils will make the rubber head and the sealant that you applied on top yellow. It was already tested by many artists, so it's a fact. And there is also another thing. The eyeshadows are less pigmented than professional soft pastels, and the result that you will get by using makeup will be less pretty. 
it will all look a little bit more messy, a little bit dirty. So you can quickly decide that this hobby is nothing for you, that you have not enough talent or something like this. But in reality, you will get a worse result because of the wrong materials. I also repainted a couple of dolls with eyeshadows in the beginning. And when I finally repainted my first doll with professional soft pastels, I really felt that my doll has stepped onto the next level. So. Blushed her face, applied the main shadows, colored her lips, and now it's time to draw the highlights. pencils, I draw the eyebrows. Use a brush to make the watercolor pencils wet. This technique really helps making realistic fine hairs. And then I add creases to her lips.
bottom eyelashes with a black pencil and then I activate it with water again. I still add the highlights and the red accents and the face looks already quite good to me. I think I'm ready to move to the most exciting part, making the eyes. First I sand them slightly with a nail buffer and then I spray them with Mr. Super Clear to prepare the surface. And then I draw the eyes approximately the same like I do it with my regular dolls. But this time it's all in 3D. And first I make the white of her eyes a little bit more grey. Then I draw the irises using my watercolor pencils and then I make them wet to make the colors more bright.
Now I still want to add some bright accents with acrylic paint. Do you remember the two tiny balls I've made in the beginning of this video? Now I'm painting them with black acrylic paint and then I will glue them in the middle of the irises. And it's very important to put them completely symmetric. Now in the end I still want to work some extra on the white of her eyes. And then I will protect the eyes with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And now it starts to look already very realistic and scary to me. And now the biggest fun begins. I take two pieces of clay and I install the eyes completely straight. Like this they will not move when I work on them. Now I take such a magic gloss resin from Lisa Pavelka own brand. It becomes hard under straight UV light, so you can just put it under the sunlight for 10 minutes as the package and it's gonna turn into glass resin. But I'm of course working at night like always, so I will use an UV and LED lamp that I normally use to dry my gel nail polish. So I put a couple of drops of the resin on the eyes and I spread it around meanwhile removing the bubbles. It's really very important to remove all the bubbles from the gloss. And then I put them inside of the lamp and I wait for 10 minutes.
and here are the eyes. You know, guys, I think it looks very, like, very good for the first time. Looks really scary. When I become old, I will open, like, a little shop with glass eyes. It will be called Pretty Eyes for Dolls and People. <laughs> and now let's go back to the doll's hat. First, I'm going to attach the false lashes, and then I will finally glue the eyes to the inside of the hat. Exciting! How does it look? Now I'm still applying glossy varnish to her lips. Now I'm closing down her head and then I'm making a wig for her. I will prepare two outfits for her. First of all, I will use such a piece of white lace and then I'm also going to paint her original dress with white and pink acrylic paint. And that's it! Here is the result of my huge experiment! And I can tell you honestly, I'm just crazy about the end result. I think it's one of my coolest dolls ever. And I'm absolutely sure I will keep working in this direction, because this is such an amazing kind of art making your own eyes. And I was scared of it for such a long time. So what do you think about my first glass eyes? I'm really excited to hear your opinion about it. And that was my video of this week. Please don't forget to put your likes. If it was fun for you to watch my experiments with clay and resin, of course, subscribe my channel to get new Dory Paint videos every week Friday. And I will see you guys already very soon. Love you. Bye.